JP, we finally have the names that go back to the Rockies in the now official Nolan Arenado trade. Walk us through the package. Well, Matt and Harold, good morning. Great to be with you. Of course, that level of snowfall, we call that April, where I was born in Marquette, Michigan. But uh, as it <laughs> relates to the trade of Nolan Arenado uh, yesterday, it was a one for five. So uh, the Rockies do get five players back in this deal. The headliner is the left-handed pitcher, Austin Gomber, who, of course, has uh, plenty of major league time already in St. Louis, uh, likely to now be part of the Rockies' rotation immediately. The other prospect names, Eleuris Montero was a third baseman from the Dominican Republic, uh, a good power profile, uh, still needs to develop a bit defensively there to, to play smoothly at the major league level, but I would say he is very close to being a major league player, so I would expect that we'll see Montero with the Rockies at some point in time here in 2021. Mateo Gill, the son of former major leaguer Benji Gill, uh, has a chance to stay at shortstop, who was very highly regarded by the Rockies out of the draft before the Cardinals selected him. So the Rockies do have some good background there on him. And then a couple right-handers, Tony Losey and Jake Sommers. One of the key things that came out last night that I was told, guys, which I think is really important to point out, is this. Nolan Arenado's salary for this year is $35 million. And the Rockies are responsible of that $35 million for $35 million. Now, it's not necessarily wow. all being paid out this year. Here's what I was reporting last night. The $15 million is being sent from the Rockies to the Cardinals this year. The remaining 20 is deferred. Now, the, the interest portion of that is not clear, but the reality is, rather remarkably, the Rockies are still covering, with some delay in terms of the, the deferment, the full sticker price of Arenado's $35 million salary this year. Now, there, the, the, the total cash amount in the deal, according to our Mark Feinsand, is $51 million, which leaves a $16 million gap. And it appears, according to Mark's reporting, that that $16 million is later in the contract after the opt-out and the second opt-out is over in the deal, which means that if Arenado opts out after this coming season, that uh, the, the uh, Rockies would be absolved of that obligation. But the key thing is here that I think a lot of people uh, will want to know is that the Cardinals, it's not as though it's a, they have them for free this year because they still have to obviously cover the $20 million in terms of cash going out this year to, to pay his salary. But it really is a huge advantage that was born out of this opt-out clause where the Rockies, just based on the way the deal was structured, are communicating that they were simply not comfortable with the obligation of paying him into the future, and it was worth it to them to basically get out of the future obligation and then take back five prospects. It's worth noting, none of whom is the Cardinals' number one or number two level prospect.